Hello everyone, welcome to Botany Option channel for the UPS examination. In today's video, we are going to see the importance of ethanobotany. Alright. Now this topic has been given in your paper number 1 and unit number 4. In this unit number 4, we have here importance of ethanobotany. Alright. So first of all, we are going to see what is meant by ethanobotany. Alright. The ethanobotany is the systematic study of relationship between the plants and people. That is the relationship between the plants and people and their study is called the ethnobotany. There were many definitions of the ethnobotany given from time to time but this is the one of them. All right. Now the term ethnobotany was first coined by the J.W. Hershberger in 1895. To include the study of plants used by the primitive and the aboriginal people. That is, those are plants which are used by the aboriginal and the primitive peoples. That is, commonly we today use the word tribal peoples. That is, primitive and the aboriginal peoples. Alright. Now, Ethanobotany again may be defined as the study of relationship between the people of primitive society and plants. That is, peoples of the primitive society, which literally includes the tribal people and their use of plants. That is the relationship between the tribal peoples and the plants is studied under the ethanobotany. In this ethanobotany, we study how the tribal peoples use their plants for the medicinal purpose as well as food purpose. So, let us see what are the importance of the ethanobotany. Now the very first importance of ethanobotany is in integrated tribal development. As you know that in today's world, we are constantly striving towards the development of the tribal peoples. Now the ethanobotany can be used to develop these tribal areas that it provides the information regarding the traditional uses of plant wealth which can be utilized in integrated tribal development. That is the knowledge which is gained by the tribal peoples over the many generation. This knowledge can be proved beneficial in providing employment to these tribal peoples. That is this knowledge can be sold in the modern society so that these tribal peoples have their own source of income. Alright. So the knowledge which is based upon the ethnobotany can make the tribal people very useful people in the modern society and in that sense they also get the employment plus the next application of ethanobotany is new product development. As you know the ethanobotanical studies throw a light on a certain unknown useful plants and new uses of many known plants which can be exploited for developing new source for some plant products and agro based industries. Now, in an ethnobotany, the tribal people specially have the, the knowledge which is very peculiar to them only. That is, this knowledge is not spread around the world and this knowledge is only gained by the tribal peoples. So, this knowledge from the tribal peoples can be used to produce the new products. That is, this product can be a, the medicinal product or food product or agro based product all right or the product which can be used in the industries as the many products from the forest are only used by the tribal peoples and it is not known in the modern society and that is why this knowledge can be used to find out the new products which can be used in a modern society so this is how the ethnobotany can also be helped in new product development the next application of ethanobotany that we can develop a new drug from the ethanobotany. The medicinal plants are the most exclusive source of the drugs. For the majority of the world population even today, plant products constitute approximately 25% of the total prescribed medicine. All right. that, this literally shows that we, we are maximally dependent on the plants for our medicine. Right. So, from the ethanobotany in which the plants are particularly used in the medicine, this ethanobotanical knowledge 
can be used to develop the new drugs that is we already have a reference of a many ailments and diseases are treated by the tribal peoples by using the herbs only all right so this knowledge can be used to form, to create the new type of drug and can be marketed in the modern world so this is how ethnobotany the knowledge of ethnobotany can also be used in the new drug development all right the next importance of ethnobotany that it can uh, use it as a source of information as we have already discussed that many ethnobotanical uses of many plants is not known by the world now by using or by studying the ethnobotanical records we come to know directly which plant is used for a particular disease and so such a kind of information is already present in an ethnobotany just we have to find out the exact plant and which is used for the particular disease so this type of information is useful for the chemist then the pharmacologist and the practitioners of the herbal medicine for the detection and isolation of bioactive compounds that is once we know the plant which is used for particular disease then we can extract the bioactive compounds so the information present in the ethnobotany is a great source of information which can be used to produce the new bioactive compounds all right the next application of ethnobotany that it reduces the time taken by to develop the new medicine as you know research has a particular way of doing things and many attempts to develop a new drug there is nearly 10 to 15 years of time is required this is because firstly we have to select the plant and from this plant we have to extract all the phytochemicals and from these phytochemicals we have to identify the bioactive compounds right and many times these plants prove to be wasteful plant that no bioactive compound is found in some plants so that is why drug development is so complicated process but what happen when we assess the knowledge of ethnobotany that the plants of the medicinal value that is those plants which already have a bioactive compound is already known in an ethnobotanical studies right so we can directly choose the plant which has a bioactive compound all right so this will reduce the time taken by the research to develop the new medicine all right so the ethnobotany is also be used to reduce the time taken by the research to develop the new medicines now next application of ethnobotany is the domestication of a new food products now there are hundreds of less known plants of food value which are used by the tribals but not by the modern humans there are many plant species we use today as a domesticated plant species for the agricultural purpose right but these are only a few plants there are many plants which are not known by the modern man but these plants are used by the tribal peoples to fulfill their food requirements now there are some plants which are only used by the tribal peoples as a food and these are plants are not known by the modern man so by studying the ethnobotany we can came to know the many plants which can be used uh, used for the food by the modern humans as well all right the next importance of ethnobotany is that the natural treatment of the very diseases as you know ethnobotany is completely relying on the plants for the treatment that is it is a totally natural treatment from the herbs or say mixture of herbs all right so ethnobotany treats the people by the natural plant products which has a very minimum side effects that is these are natural products has a very minimum side side effect as compared to the modern day synthetic drugs now as you know modern day synthetic drugs have many side effects but the drugs which are coming from the natural plants has a very minimum side effects and that is why the ethnobotanical treatment is more favorable than the modern day synthetic drugs all right so ethnobotany is can also be useful in the natural treatment of the various diseases so thank you very much for watching this video please like the video if you have any doubt about this lecture please make comment in a comment box
please share this video with your friends who are studying the botany subject and please subscribe to botany optional channel for the upsc examination